What is going on, everybody? We have, uh, first of all, and I forgot to say this on my last video. I'm going to say this right now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on all post notifications to let you all know whenever I upload a video or not. Yeah, please do that because I don't know what is going on with YT, right? I don't want to say the name because I don't want to get shadow banned again. So, now let's get into this. We have this film, Leave the World Behind, right? So, um, my God, man. I'm watching this movie. I tell you what, I didn't like it at all, bro, watching it. And then after the fact, I can somewhat understand what was going on. You know, it, it had his little details. It had his little moments. But for me, watching the film, I just couldn't get into it, bro. It, it seemed bland to me. Uh, certain things made no sense. Even when you had Mahershala Ali and Julia Roberts' character. Well, first of all, they're great actors, by the way. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Same for, um, what's, what's the old dude's name? Um, Ethan Hawke, right? Gr you know, great actors. But to me, this wasn't their greatest film. So, and like you have, you see in this poster right here with, with this freaking deer. <sighs> if you watch the movie, you will see the deer, this deer, that deer, that deer, a whole bunch of freaking deer. The thing made no sense. It was divided in like five or six parts, <laughs> right? It seemed like a Quentin Tarantino film to me, and you could tell it, it, it kind of reminded me somewhat of Kill Bill, right? The close-ups, the music, uh, like the dun, 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 dun. It, it, not like that, but it's just like certain sound effects had it seemed like it was Kill Bill to me. And you all can tell. If you all watch Kill Bill, you would know. Watch Kill Bill and watch this freaking movie. You all understand what I'm talking about. So I, I just, you know, then you had the little girl who was just so, she was just so into Friends, the TV show. She seemed like she, seemed like she was more into Friends than she was trying to get out of this whole situation. So that, that's all it was. Every 10, it seemed like every 30 minutes, or every 15, 20 minutes, she kept freaking mentioning friends. Like, girl, the internet wasn't working. You have no TV. You're not going to watch your freaking friends movie or your, your friends TV show. You know, RIP to Matthew Perry. But it's just, it, it, Julia Roberts, I can understand. Me and my girl up here watching it. We was watching the movie. We up here thinking. She was up here thinking or suspecting that maybe a Julia Roberts was somewhat being uh, discriminatory to the to the girl right to the, to the black girl what's her name my holla valhalla my holla somewhat to her so and i was i wasn't thinking of that when she and mahershala ali's character was introduced she even said it in the film that she didn't like people so i'm taking that into account and i'm also taking into account that well first of all i'm thinking that mahershala ali and my Hollis character are like somewhat of, they control the world. Me not knowing what this film is about because I watched Cabin in the Woods with Batista and then, uh, uh, what's this, Rupert something from, what's the guy named from Harry Potter, you know, uh, who played Ron Weasley. I seen that film. I'm thinking that Mahersha Ali and Val Hollis characters are like Batista and, and, and Ron Weasley's character in that movie. That's what I'm thinking. But watching it, that was not the case. It was totally different. And it, it just it was just all over the place. You have all these in the scene where you have all these Teslas, right? You know, we see we see a stockpile of Teslas ramming into each other, right? And you see Julia Roberts and her fan Ethan Hawke and then their kids, they're right there. They're trying to leave the city because they don't know what the hell is going on, so they're trying to escape. They can't escape because it's blocking the bridge. And so they see all these Teslas. She gets out the car. She sees another Tesla headed because it's, you know, self, what is it, self-drive or something like that. She sees another Tesla coming. She gets out. Well, she gets in the car, tells Ethan Hawke to get in the car. They start navigating, swirling because more Teslas are coming. And you have an open dirt road here. My thing is, why are you swerving all around these why are you swerving around the road trying to navigate these Teslas? You even hit one or you even get hit. But it's like you could easily go on the side of the road and just forget about this stuff even happening. 
Because if you look in the movie, you see that they're just stockpiling Teslas, bro. They're not on the side of the road. They're not just, you know, having a line here. They're just blocking the bridge. So that 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 part was just crazy as hell. You see, and also it had Kevin Bacon in here. He's clearly he he's clearly prepared. He knows something's up. And we see little hints. You know, it could be, you know, it, it could be uh Koreans, it could be the Vietnamese, the Chinese, it's something because you have a drone, right? This big ass drone dropping uh, a bunch of like red flyers and whatnot with dragons. It's like basically, uh, what is it? To, uh, uh, the son had mentioned it was from a video game he had seen, but it's basically like in the world, end of the US, I, I want to say. So that was that. The son had, he, his teeth was freaking pop, you know, coming out because he got bit on the damn leg by a, a, a tick right you know you, you see more deer the girl seeing more deer the son he's looking at my holler's ass you know he wants this black girl but and all of a sudden this dude's jacking off to the black girl but his mom's legs is in the picture so i'm like what is really going on here so um and again the girl is seeing more deer so it's, <laughs> i mean i i my god like what what happened here it, it just this is a different kind of movie and again Mahershala Ali he's saying and oh my god what I didn't understand was that Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke's characters they're renting out this house that belonged to Mahershala Ali and his daughter right before the movie continued, I'm thinking that there was like a scam for them to like either kill him or get him out the house. Because I thought that they was like playing the role of father-daughter, but they're actually like really together. That wasn't the case. Good thing. But they're like proving that they're at the house. And again, I can understand if people think that she was being a racist or whatnot. Racist. But... You know, I, I can understand because she did mention old girl's hair and black girl's hair, so I can I can get that right. But what I didn't understand was that they had a stash of money, like a thousand dollars in the drawer. Wait, well, thing is, he needed a key, but it's like, bro, you just keeping money in there. <laughs> they didn't know it. Ethan Hawke's character, he was too nice. He didn't care at all. Julia Roberts was just real stern. And I ain't never seen her like this in other films. If she was, I, again, I don't watch many of Julia Roberts films. So, that's that. What else was it? You have, you know, oh yeah, they kept lying. You have all of this stuff going on. You notice, like, communications was was, was gone. There's no Wi-Fi. You know, uh, you know uh, Julia Roberts was getting alerts. But then when her husband was looking at the phone, he couldn't see it. So I'm like, is she only seeing things? Is the daughter only seeing the deer? Apparently so. No one else sees this deer, the deer, until later on. Um, again, she's she she keeps talking about her, her, you know, the episode of Friends, the last episode of Friends. You have Mahersha Ali who's saying that the the wife came was was coming home from where that she was going on a plane to come back to see him and the daughter. Then he leaves and he sees a plane coming towards him. He sees a plane at the beach that had killed a bunch of people. It, it just reminded me of Cabin in the Freaking Woods. Um, what what else am I missing here? You, you have, again, back to the line. Again, they kept lying to each other. Ethan Hawke was not telling Julia Roberts exactly what they seen. What he seen, he didn't tell him. He told him about the drone strike, but he didn't tell him that there was a Mexican lady trying to warn him not to go that certain direction. But there was a language barrier. She was just speaking in full Spanish. He's saying he didn't know. She's pleading and crying and whatnot. There, there's nothing going on there. So he just said, F it. I'm just leaving until he sees the drone spreading all this stuff around. He gets back and hauls ass. Um, you know, then you you have the scene with Julia Robertson, Mahersha Ali are up here dancing. I'm like, ain't Aren't y'all trying to figure out what the hell is going on? Aren't you all trying to escape? Aren't you all trying to figure out, like, should I, should I try to map out a plan is to, is to like, 
uh, what, to leave the place where you're at? But instead, they put on freaking next and start playing and, and start dancing. And try, no, what was that song? Hold on. God, I know it was next. I, now I'm just drawing a freaking a blank. But you know the R&B group next, right? Go ahead and, you know, put that in real quick. What is like? So I'm like, your husband is outside. And then the girl, his daughter was asking him if he ever messed or effed with his, his students because he was a professor. She worked in like uh, relations, I want to say. Julia Roberts worked in relations. Ethan Hawke was a professor. My Hala, uh, Marsha Ali's daughter, was saying if Ethan Hawke's character, who was a professor, if he effed any students. So I'm thinking... Are they going to do something real quick? They're by the pool. They're smoking. They're just having this casual conversation, right? While Julia Roberts and Mahersha Ali are dancing and they're hugging. And I'm thinking something's about to go down. And then he starts thinking about his wife. I'm like, now you start thinking about your wife. So, you know, and again, he tells them about the different communications about how he has a client. And there's like different stages of how he thinks uh, he, the, the client works for somebody who thinks he knows what's going on with all of the stuff that's really going on, right? So, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just looking at this like I can't wait to turn this off. But then when I look at the time, I'm hitting pause. Forty minutes left. Thirty-five minutes left. Twenty-five minutes left. Twenty minutes left. It's just, just. I'm like, I couldn't wait for this film to end, bro. I did not enjoy this, bro. I didn't. What up? Then you had this, the, the loud scream, the, 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 you know, the loud noises, and it only focused on their characters. Uh, and then all of a sudden they decide, oh, wait, I'm going to go see one of my clients who happens to be Kevin Bacon, who Julia Roberts says she saw him at the market. Then um, Hersha Ali remember and it's like oh yeah that's such and such he prepares for this and whatnot so then that's when they, that's when they devise a plan to end up to go to his house but he said f y'all i'm staying with my family right but you know and they, they was trying to find meds for the son and all this other crap so it's just like at this point i wanted everybody to die in this movie you know you, you had the you had the little girl that went missing if you all notice you all know the film. You all know that she was just ran away, you know, because she said, what, what did she say in bed that later that night? She was in bed. The whole family was in bed. She's like, oh, I wanted to leave or something like that. Paraphrase. And I can't remember. I, I want to get this film away. Here, I'm going to do this review when I'm out of here. But she, you know, the next day, Julia Roberts and my holla are looking for their daughter. She ends up being at a whole nother house. We don't know which house it is because there's a lot of staring going on in this movie. The, the, the daughter just kept staring at things. It pissed me off. I wanted to just, I couldn't wait for it to end, bro. I just wanted to, to throw, take my remote and just throw it at the freaking TV. You know, all this staring. She was staring. Julia Roberts is staring. The, the, the Mahersha Ali's daughter is staring. You know, everybody is staring. Like, what are y'all looking at, bro? Take the camera and focus on what are they looking at. So, it, then you have the girl. She just, <laughs> she's in this abandoned house. Just eating a bunch of cereals, a bunch of cookies, peanut butters, a bunch of freaking snacks. She just raided that house, bro. Nobody's in there. Then she goes down a little basement you know, sees a bunch of DVDs. And take a guess what she puts in. Freaking Friends. Puts in that last episode of Friends. And the film just ends. I'm like, what the hell just happened here? What just happened? They, they're just going to have it end like that? What kind, that? That has to be one of the worst endings ever in movie history. Why would it just end like that? What happened? You know. But before that happened, we have, and they talked about like, uh, they don't know, like, remember when I mentioned, you know, the Chinese government and the Koreans and whatnot, Kevin Bacon's character was saying he wasn't even sure. He kept stubborn himself. And then we see when Julia Roberts and my holler was looking, they was looking at New York because that's where they was at. It was in Long Island. I don't want to go there no more or wherever I was at Manhattan and whatnot. Don't want to do that. But they saw that New York was just under attack. 
and it was by like a rogue government. So the U.S. possibly went rogue and started turning on each other because again, Mahershala Ali was saying like the certain steps, the communication, the wife, uh, 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 communication, um, people start look, uh, what was it? Oh my God, I don't know if I got the five, five or six steps. All I know is that at the end they said it was civil war. And so, sure enough, they started turning on each other. But that's the, oh, and last thing. The, the, the part in which they was talking about, no, the, the part in which they was on the beach as soon as they arrived there, then you have this ship. That was what it was, like, it was just like ships or uh, whatever. That's, that's a part of it, I, I want to say. Transportation. This ship is slowly coming towards him. That's another thing that made it seem like this was a, a Tarantino or some kind of horrible horror movie at first. The ship is just dead set, just coming at you, right? Doesn't move or nothing. It, it doesn't continue that way, continue that way. It's only coming towards the little girl who is staring at the ship, coming towards her. People are looking at it, but then they start doing other things. They start reading. They go to sleep. They just lay back, chill, looking at things. And then they'll cut to, okay, maybe five minutes later. Ship is getting closer. You know, another minute, another couple minutes, closer and closer and closer. Then these idiots start to leave the moment it, like, gets closer to shore. Then I'm like, oh, you don't think to leave the moment, you, like, the, you don't think to leave the closer it gets? But the moment it hits shore, that's when you all decide to leave? I'm like, what? What? What is really going on here? But again, you know, the different animals, it said, I, that, you know, it affected world migration and all that other crap. It, it was just, I, 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 other people liked it, you liked it, whatever. I, I really didn't care for it, bro. I, I just, I'm not watching it again, bro. So, infamous, if you see this, I mean, we could talk about it. Like, I did this review, I hit you up and whatnot about this, so. Like, we can talk, we could do a live or whatever about it. We could do a breakdown or whatnot. We could talk about certain things you liked, certain things I didn't like. A lot of things I didn't like, but it is what it is, man. But anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed that review. And it is on to the next. Yeah.